Hi, my name is Luis Perenjo, and today we are going to talk about failure and the idea that you are wasting your potential. So I hope you like it, and I hope you you like the drawing that is going on at the same time, because this is the most important part. Thank you. Okay, so uh, this video is about failure and wasting your potential. And I'm doing it because of a conversation I had a few days ago with my friend Julia, because we always talk about our struggles and jobs and and we ended up in this specific topic. And the fun part is that these characters that I'm going to start drawing now or in a moment were created based on this, that same fear that, I, that I've just mentioned, which is failing. And funnier than this is the fact that Karima, the girl that I'm going to draw, was a little bit based on Jules. I had her idea when I was on the beach with Jules and her family. So, failure, I believe there is not a single person in this planet that isn't af afraid of failing. And failing on something or with someone that, that you care about. And usually, or all the times, failure means bad things, like death, or making someone hate you, or making someone laugh at you, and even hurt you, and it can ruin your career, our relationship, destroy your confidence, and many, many other possibilities that are not good for your health, mental, and physical. I guess one of the worst cases is when you fail in something that you really believe that you are like meant to be the best, or meant to be really good at, and this is the case, I guess, with these characters that I am doing today, which is the Stainleg family, uh, which we have Korima, the fourth, which is the last heir of this powerful family, and she's also the leader of the Royal Guard, or she was the leader, uh, but she wasn't able to protect her family from a mysterious blue figure that just slaughtered them all. And even with the help of Amadeus, the bovine cleric, which is an old friend and advisor, and the cart official witch, which is Zeretas, uh, the Nimbomancer, which is a fancy word to say she controls smoke, she still wasn't able to, to help her family, and she was just helpless and couldn't do anything against this mysterious threat. Uh, their story is basically that they lost all their dignity and honor and they were like they were a complete failure. I drew Karima without a leg because first that mysterious murderer took it out of her. And second because it's a nice idea to make characters with prosthetics like Malenia from Elden Ring. So there is a little bit of inspiration on her of course. But they don't have anything and they know that even if they are looking for vengeance, they find it, it won't matter and because it won't bring their families back and it won't bring their honor back. It's just a way to, I don't know, relieve the pressure or relieve the, the anguish that, that they are feeling. But it's, I, I made these characters exactly to, to talk about this idea of failure, of failing, and how sometimes we can't do nothing about it. And then he, I was talking to Jules and she told me that she's going through like uh, some kind of crisis that I think is very, very normal for us because she's a very talented football player and a very talented uh, filmmaker and a, just a very talented in general person. Like she speaks four languages and for idioms and I don't even speak to you as you can see <laughs> and she's just a great person but due to some circumstances in her life she's going through for a tough period with job and with anyways her things that are none of my business are yours she's doubting on herself and she's she, she really believes that she's wasting her potential when when I don't I don't see it this way. I, I don't think this is the this is really what is going on. I believe that she's she's holding up pretty well due to 
life being pretty shitty to her and to her family and in general and she's like being a, a a real badass motherfucker you know and i think her only her only issue and problem is that because of her fear of failing of because of, or because of her like the amount of pressure that she's feeling she doesn't feel comfortable to try to go after her her passions and her her talents so she could try doing things related to those to those gifts that i said earlier that she 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 has but she doesn't and so i i talked to her and i said well i i think i i understand it because for example i myself failed in in many of the things that i wanted to do until today like for example these characters were made in last year's christmas as i'm showing here and i'm a failure with with recording videos anyways these characters were were supposed to be finished like many months ago and Zereta, which is the witch, she was almost finished like in the beginning of the year, but I was too lazy and too scared to finish her because I thought that my abilities weren't enough to, to visualize her and to finish her the way I wanted to. So I didn't finish her and neither of them. But now, because of my conversation with my friend, I decided, well, let's give it a try, uh, even though I believe it's a failure. That's the, that, that's the truth. I believe that this, this whole drawing, these three characters are a failure. I like their concepts, I like their ideas, but I don't like them, I guess. But this is my point. I think that me and Jules and everybody else that has this uh, intense fear of trying and intense fear of doing what you love or failing in what you love and wasting your possibilities and your potential it makes you it it kind of locks you in the place that you are in the moment and this is the worst it that can happen you know because let's say you're you're doing a, a fine job that offers you stability and you kind of like it but it's not your passion it's not what will fulfill your life and I guess like our parents and our grandparents, they lived their lives like trying just to, to, to bring comfort to their families. And many times they ended up like not enjoying their lives, not following their dreams. So I think that if we break this cycle and if we try and if we accept that maybe we will fail, but that failure is a part of the process, or most importantly, that failure is not as bad as living a life of misery. I think this was a little too strong, but if we if we face our fears and we go after it and we say, okay, I will try my best. And even if I fail, I know I'm trying to do something that I love and I will just go for it. Like, I don't need to care. I have nothing to lose. And if it gets worst then so be it if it gets better then good for me but just go and try you know i think that this fear of failing is just uh the worst thing that we can do to ourselves and to our best kids for for an instance if this if this has any meaning to you because you're killing your dream and Sometimes your dream can be bigger than all your, your problems and all your, your issues and all the things that you are going through at your job. But we are so focused in the present and not in that good way that like, oh, don't be anxious and don't be depressed because then you will live only in the future and in the past. Try to live in the present. But sometimes we are so focused on the present and leaving the present and trying to survive the present that we don't give ourselves a chance to look forward and say, okay, I will give it a try. Let's see what, what happens. And so I believe that's something we should do. 
I believe that's something my friend Jude should should do, and I know she will because she's a great person, and I know she will find her way, just as I find mine. Like for instance, as I said, this drawing is a complete failure, but I had to do it. I had to do a video because I know it will improve my skills, and I know I will be happier to post it and to see people uh, not liking it. But I know nobody will be like a bad person to say, hey, Leo, this is trash. But please say, if you think it's trash, please say, I, I, I will really appreciate it. But so I prefer to do it and to, to face the possibility of failure and the possibility of, of uh, ruining something that is good than not doing it and never knowing what could have been. And I think that's the, the, whole, the whole point. Now thinking about this subject, I don't believe these characters are the best way to express it because they know they failed and they are going after something that will not bring them peace or thing back to them. But this is the thing about my, my dark fantasy planet, my dark fantasy project, just as I finish it, I guess my point, which is face your fears and if you need to fail, fail. So. I can talk because this this especially is really related to my to my dark fantasy, which is called Flema, as I said in the beginning of the video. And why is it related, Leo? You may ask yourself and ask me. Because in this universe, even though like things are trash and there are crazy people and villains and murderers and and dark entities that are in the middle of the planet and everything looks like trash and it's like a worst version of Dark Souls and a worst version of like of like medieval life and there are witch hunters and fairy hunters and demons and cults even though you still have all of this terrible horrific disastrous things around you people still try to move forward and they try to see the things in a good way, or at least they try to face their demons until they they find something that matters. And maybe Korima and and her friends, her advisor in the witch, they will not find their families or they will not uh, recover their glory and honor, but they may find something different. Maybe peace, maybe... I don't know, I still haven't written it, but they can. And the whole idea is this, that even in a dark time, even in a dark environment, even uh, when you are surrounded by shadows with pointing objects and guns and, and curses and dark spells and all the worst things that they can do to you, you can still uh, be positive and and accept it accept it that there is nothing you can do and you can't control the things around you but you can control yourself and this this is flama this is me talking about failure and about wasting your potential and this is the drawing of these three characters together and one by one with some notes around them because it's a character design right so i need to design them and give them stories and that kind of shit. And I hope you like it. I hope you enjoy it. If you want to see me, if you want to see me more, if you want to see more of this project, you can follow and give it a like or follow me on Instagram, which is Spitting You Art. And yeah, I think that's it. Uh, total failure. Great to fail you. To fail. Great to not know how to speak this language, even though I am a teacher and a, technically speaking, a fluent person. Just perfect. You know, just keep going. Continue a nadar, as Dory says in Nemo, finding Nemo. I don't know what's the translation. Keep, keep swimming. I think I should turn it off. Okay.